Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am going to show you how to enable the multi window feature on Android M. Currently I am on the Android M preview on my Nexus 5. Now to enable the multi window feature, you have to edit the build prop file for Android M. Currently there is no root available for Android M. So you can't do the editing of build prop file on the phone. So for editing the build prop file, you will require a PC or a laptop. Now the pre-requirement for editing the build prop file are, you must have ADB tools installed on your PC and you must have TWRP recovery on your phone. So let's move ahead and check out how to edit the build prop file and enable the multi window feature. So let's start the process. Firstly, you have to boot into recovery. So let's boot into recovery. After booting into recovery, then click on mounts and tick on system option. Now connect your phone to the PC. Now after connecting your phone to PC in TWRP mode, just launch the command prompt anywhere you want. So I am launching the command prompt on desktop. Just by pressing shift and right click, you can open the command prompt on desktop. Now first check that your device is connected or not. So type ADB devices. So it is showing that my device is connected in recovery mode. Then type adb space pull space slash system slash build dot prop. So it will give you the build prop file of a system. So as you can see the build prop file is saved on my desktop. Now open this build prop file with any text editor software. I am going to use the notepad plus plus. Now check for the line ro.build.type so it is on the line 14 ro.build.type now on this line after is equal to you have to type user debug instead of user now save this file now again in command prompt type adb space push build.prop space slash system slash and then enter so it will push the build prop file to your system now we have to open the adb shell so just type adb space shell it will open the adb shell now type cd space system then type chmod space 644 space build dot prop. So it will change the priorities for build prop file. Now it is saved. Now we have to go back to our device. Now just disconnect the phone and reboot it. After booting up, just go into settings and developer options inside developer option you will find a tab called enable multi window feature under the drawing menu so as you can see there is a multi window mode just enable it it will give a warning that it is currently in beta state so you may have some freezing or crashing issue so just enable it now to check out the multi window feature just go into the recents menu now you will see the window appearing on each tab just click on the window now it will ask you for the layout means you want this tab on upper part of a screen or lower part of a screen so I will just choose for upper part so as you can see the settings is appear on upper part of the screen and next is hangouts that is open on the next tab is appear on the lower part of a screen now the multi window feature works flawlessly with system app but with some third party app, I have noticed some crash issues. So currently it is in beta state. So it will improve as the new builds of Android M will arrive. So it is the most important and unnoticed feature of Android M. So you can activate this feature if you are on Android M preview. I will post the link for the written guide about activating the multi window feature on Android M. You can check out that link also. I will post it in my description. 
So if you like this video, please hit the like button below and share this video. You can follow me on Google+, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.